Hi everyone, my name is Britt and I work at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. What's a museum? One way to describe a museum is that it's a place that protects and teaches about a certain subject. It might be art, science, or history. The Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum protects and teaches all about country music and its story. So if you come visit us, you can see all kinds of cool artifacts or special objects like instruments, stage costumes, and even cars. Well, today we are going to explore one man, one artist who's really important to the country music story. You might have heard of him, Shel Silverstein. You might have even read some of his books, like The Giving Tree or Where the Sidewalk Ends. That's right, Shel Silverstein is an author, was an author. He wrote books. He was also an illustrator. He drew pictures for his books. But did you know that Shel Silverstein was also a songwriter? In fact, he was really important to country music songwriting. He wrote folk and country songs, and he even wrote with artists like Johnny Cash, Bobby Bear, and Waylon Jennings. Today, we're going to read a few of my favorite Shel Silverstein poems from the book, A Light in the Attic. And then we'll do a draw along and learn to draw one of his illustrations. A light in the attic. There's a light on in the attic, though the house is dark and shuttered. I can see a flicker and flutter, and I know what it's about. There's a light on in the attic. I can see it from the outside, and I know you're on the inside, looking out. Moon catching net. I've made me a moon catching net, and I'm going hunting tonight. I'll run along swinging it over my head and grab for that big ball of light. So tomorrow, just look at the sky, and if there's no moon, you can bet. I found what I sought, and I finally caught the moon in my moon catching net. But if the moon's still shining there, look close underneath and you'll get a clear look at me in the sky swinging free with a star in my moon catching net. Mr. Smeds and Mr. Spats. Mr. Spats had 21 hats, and none of them were the same. And Mr. Smeds had 21 heads, and only one hat to his name. Now, when Mr. Smeds met Mr. Spats, they talked of the buying and selling of hats. And Mr. Spats bought Mr. Smeds' hat. Did you ever hear anything crazier than that? Rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, we'd travel all over the land. We'd play and we'd sing and wear spangly things. If we were a rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band and we were up there on the stand, the people would hear us and love us and cheer us. Hooray for that rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, then we'd have a million fans. We'd giggle and laugh and sign autographs if we were a rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, the people would all kiss our hands. We'd be millionaires and have extra long hair if we were a rock and roll band. But we ain't no rock and roll band. We're just seven kids in the sand with homemade guitars and pails and jars and drums of potato chip cans. Just seven kids in the sand, talking and waving our hands and dreaming and thinking, oh, wouldn't it be grand if we were a rock and roll band? My guitar. Oh, wouldn't it be a most wondrous thing to have a guitar that could play and could sing by itself? What an absolute joy it would be to have a guitar that didn't need me. Here is a photograph of Shel Silverstein's real guitar. You can see this in the exhibit Outlaws and Armadillos Country's Roaring Seventies at the museum. Now let's draw an illustration of our own, inspired by Shel Silverstein's drawing for A Light in the Attic. Grab a piece of paper and a drawing tool. Feel free to pause the video as I go along and also feel free to make this drawing your own, even though we'll go step by step. I'd love to see your imagination shine through.
Start by drawing the letter U really big to fill up your whole page. Now, draw an upside down letter V or a big arrow for the roof on top of the head. It's time for the eyes. Shel Silverstein drew, drew his eyes about halfway down that big letter U. Let's make two dots in the middle. Anybody know what these are called? The pupils. I want to draw a big circle around those dots to make the whites of your eyes. Maybe, maybe you have expressive eyes or maybe you have one eye or eight eyes in your face. Use your imagination. To so draw the nose, draw a little letter U. And a smile at the bottom of the face. We need ears. I'd like to draw ears like curvy lines on the side of the face. What about hair? What kind of hair does your character have? Mine has curly hair. I'm inspired by the way Shel Silverstein drew his face. But maybe yours has pigtails or zigzag line hair. Maybe bright green hair. And just fill in on the side of the face. Good job. I'm going to make my roof a little bit of a thicker line by drawing a double line on top of the V we already drew. Now, remember in the poem about the light in the attic? There's a window in the forehead. So draw a rectangle above the eyes on the forehead of your character. I encourage you to draw yourself in the window or maybe a friend or loved one. A lot of us are at home right now, but we still have the power of our imaginations and that's kind of what the poem um, reminds me of. You can do a lot with all that you have inside your head. So what makes you unique? I have long hair, so I'm drawing my long hair and my smile, but maybe you like wearing hats. Maybe it's an alien in your attic. If you'd like to add shutters, this is a nice detail to add. Those are skinnier rectangles on either side of the window. Shel Silverstein drew these squiggly lines, kind of not not quite straight, not quite wriggly, wiggly. In the roof part of this character, those could be shingles or siding on your house. He draws a lot of them at the top. And then we're going to space them out a little bit more as we move down the face. Maybe your house is made of bricks or something different than siding. Feel free to draw that instead. I'm gonna do a little chimney there, drawing those three lines. You may have noticed that Shel Silverstein likes to draw a lot of dots. He adds value with these dots and we can call these dots stippling. So I'm going to add some stippling or dots around the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth. 
and scatter some dots around the face to make it darker in areas where I want it to be darker. Maybe inside your ears, you might see shadows inside people's ears. That's a good place to add stippling. Just have fun filling in with dots. It's a good trick to make anything look like Shel Silverstein illustrated it. There you go. Great job. Maybe a few in the chimney too. What would you like in the sky behind your face or in the background? I'm going to draw stars, make it a night sky. I love that poem about the moon catching net. What would you like to draw in the background of your picture? You're so creative. Great job today. Thanks for drawing and listening with me.